We are wrapping up our Unit 8 information. So we have covered a lot of different topics in this unit, and we are going to review those today and make sure that we have an understanding of all of them, and tomorrow we're going to check that understanding. So we have covered these four different topics in this unit. Types of triangles, quadrilateral connections, area and perimeter of parallelograms, and triangles, and then solving radius and diameter of circles. We're going to review these today, and this is how we're going to review them. First, there, is a, there will be a PDF link below this video that you can click on, and it's going to have different questions over all of these different topics, and some using word problems, but still these same strategies. To help you solve these problems, you're going to use any of the resources from all of the lessons. I've put those all together in one place on the link below that, and it will say Math Unit 8 Resources, and it's a link. And you can click on that and go to any of the videos that have been recorded and some anchor charts and different things. You can just scroll through and use them to help you. You're going to solve the problem on paper or on a separate digital wherever you're doing your work. This is completely up to you how you do it. You will not submit this paper. You're going to use that paper as notes for tomorrow. Tomorrow you will be using what you did today as practice to solve some questions tomorrow using these same ideas. So if you can do the questions today without major struggle or without reviewing too much, you should be totally fine tomorrow. If you get stuck, please reach out to your teacher. We want to make sure you understand these things before moving on to tomorrow to make sure that you've covered all these standards. Before you go on to work independently, I wanted to go over some of the big topics that I had the most questions about. So the first one is looking at two different types of triangles in order to find area. So we know the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. Okay, so on this one, my height is this eight right here. Okay, it's showing me that by this dotted line going down the middle. So in order to find for this one, I write out the equation base times height divided by 2. It's going to be 8, or sorry, base is 5. So 5 times 8 divided by 2. 5 times 8 I know is 40. Then divided by 2, which I know is 20. So for this one, let me try to get that focused for us. So for the first one, it's going to be 20 because this eight is the height. Now, when you have one that looks like this with that right angle, you're gonna notice that there is no dotted line. That's because this five becomes our height. So same equation, area equals base times height divided by two, so that's base is 10. So we have 10 times 5 divided by 2. We do 10 times 5 first, which is 50, divided by 2, which is 25. Okay, so moving on to practicing with parallelograms. So do remember that area for parallelograms length times width. Perimeter you will add them all up. 
with area, you are only dealing with the two numbers. So we have length times width, 12 times 5, which equals 60. That's our area. If I want to find perimeter, I have to know that on a parallelogram, these are going to be the same, especially on rectangles and squares. And those are going to be the same. So now I can add 12 plus 12 plus 5 plus 5. So we have 24 there plus 5 plus 5. And we have 10 here. So we have 34. Okay, for the perimeter. Last thing I want to go over before you go do the work on your own is reminding radius and diameter. Here, we are looking at radius. If my question is find the diameter, I'm going to take radius, which is equal to 4.2 right now, and I'm going to just times that by 2, which is 8.4. Okay? That's all I wanted to review with you because that's what I got the most questions over. You can do the rest of figuring out what you need on your own.